Hey, it's your girl, Miss Jennifer, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back with another wig review. This is, again, a lace front wig, and it is another free trust equal. She is Bailey. This is actually my second review I'm doing because the first one I uploaded, I deleted it because it wasn't really a fair review. So I'm like, let me do it over, and um, I'm so glad that I'm doing it over because now that I tried it on the next day, I have it fitted better so I like it so much better than when I first put it on but anyway this is her and the color on this picture is a ombre highlight 227 144 the color I am wearing is an ombre 27 36 13 now honestly this is not the color I intended to get this is the color I clicked on this is the color that they sent however what I meant to order was the ombre highlight 27 36 13 which is lighter around the bang and then um, darker on the bottom and the reason being is because I just don't necessarily like how this really really light color blonde um, more it kind of reminds me like bleach blonde I don't really like how that projects against my face on the bottom um, so that's why I wish I would have got a different color but onto the wig to just to give it a fair review let me tell you what my favorite thing is about this wig besides it being a simple cut which is one of the reasons why I ordered it because I bought so many long wigs and flowy wigs and I'm more of a, a medium length size girl um that I saw this and I'm like oh that would be really cute for everyday things I probably won't wear it every day because of the color however um it has a very natural feel to it it's not an overly thick it's not a thick wig uh, it's not too thin. I think it's just right if for that like wrap style. Um, but one of the, my favorite things besides it being kind of like a natural style is that it comes pre-cut. Meaning the lace is pre-cut lace. So I didn't have to cut off any lace which I totally appreciate. Not that cutting lace is just this difficult job but I mean it's just something I'd rather not do if I don't have to because I'm never going to use that front lace anyway. Um, so with this, um, so let me show you the parting space on Bailey. So here we have the parting space. So it has a nice, you know, it goes back pretty deep. It, it says deep invisible part. I mean, yeah, deep invisible part, um, but on the box, but it does go back pretty deep. It is pretty now. Um, it is pretty nice. Now, let me just say, I did not tweeze out any of this back here. I tweezed just a little bit at the very, very front um, just because it was some hairs in the way. So I just wanted to tweeze that out at the very edge of the lace. But as far as all back here, that's just how it comes straight out the box. I did put some powder. I used my Maybelline uh, Fit Me setting powder um, in the part to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, I wish you guys, if you saw my review on Kenzie, I did it again today and I wore it as a middle part which I think is what it was really meant to be worn as based on the positioning of the part and the back of the wig cap and it looked so much better okay but anyway um, this here um, I'm glad it came parted on this side because I like if I wear a side part and I used to love side parts but now I'm like always wanting to wear a middle part but anyway, um, when I did wear side parts, this is the side I parted on, and a lot of wigs come parted on this side. So I'm glad that it had the part on this side so I could wear it here. Um, so this does have a swoop bang that I have brushed um, to be more rounded because I didn't really want the flips too much, which just so you can see what I mean, um, if you look at this, you can see what I mean by the bang, how it really is, but I um, kind of prefer it more brushed down. It does come packaged in a nice box just like the Kenzie did that I talked about and this like uh, shoe box setting and on the back it shows you all the different colors that it comes in so I think that big picture is the OP 99 J that has more of that like purplish plum highlight in it so this is the one that I should have got <laughs> this is what I meant by lighter at the top um, so this is the ombre highlight 27 60 13 that's what i want but i ended up getting this one and honestly i think it looks better on here than it actually does in person because even on this picture it doesn't the blonde don't look as blonde as it really is but let me show you guys silly me 
<laughs> what it looks like um, all the way around. So here's side. And turning to the back. Now there is a lot of blonde in the back and the 360 view on the uh, website, which was wigtypes.com, it didn't look this blonde in the back. And I guess like if I pull it back, it, it'll look a little bit better, but it was more, I guess they had on the picture, it had more brown at the top so that it blended in better and made that nice, really pretty color. But in reality, it has a lot of that bleach blonde at the bottom. So I wasn't necessarily feeling that. Um, and, but like I said, nice length. This is about a 12 inch, I guess. Which, when I get sew-ins, when I get sew-ins, I always get 12 to 14 inches. So just depending on what style I want, I typically go with 12 to 14. So lengthwise, this is perfect for me. So if you want something really simple that you can just wear every day, no matter where you're going, work, church, school, you know, just your everyday, um, running around errands this is a great wig it's light it fits comfortably on the head like i said it's pre-cut so maybe if you want to use it as an everyday wig you might want to if you prefer natural colors you might want to get a 1b and everything uh, or a two or something which 1b is typically my go-to color i don't really buy colored wigs but since all of the wigs that i buy and the ones that i make usually are a natural colored hair i wanted to try something different so that's why i ended up ordering this and so it took me a while to adjust to the color because last night when I made the very first video I talked so much about how I hated how it looked on me that I didn't do a really good job of reviewing the wig itself so now that I put it on the second day and got it combed right and I had the part on the wrong side anyway but yet last night um, but now that I have it the way I want to I'm like okay I can do this I can definitely do this wig um, I won't wear it every day because of the color, but if I had gotten it in a 1B or 2, I probably would wear this wig a lot more often than Kenzie or Danity, just because Danity and Kenzie are so long, but they're both beautiful wigs. So would I recommend this wig? Absolutely. Just make sure you're getting the color that you want that works for you. So if you have this wig, let me know what your experience uh, was. How did it hold up? If you have anything that you would like me to review that I haven't yet, let me know. Give me a holla. Yes, I will have some model model coming soon because I have had requests for that particular brand. I also have some other brands that I want to review for you guys. So until next time, you guys stay fab. God bless and you already know. Peace.